Hi, this is Jason Mirth, Product Manager for Cooling Systems for U.S. Motor Works. Thank you for taking the time to view this video today. We'll be discussing engine parts, and not just any engine parts, engine cooling system components. We get to replace a water pump today, so let's make sure we do it right. See, engine cooling is a system, so let's treat it as such. By reviewing all the components necessary in engine cooling, we can replace our water pump once, do the job right, and restore cooling power. Before we get started turning wrenches, let's do a little housekeeping and safety check. Let's make sure we have on old clothes, safety glasses, gloves, have plenty of shop towels, absorbent material, and fluid collection containers. Let's also make sure we recycle our old engine parts and dispose of our coolant and other engine fluids properly. And let's make sure the engine is cool. And yes, disconnect that battery. So we got the radiator here. We want to make sure that there are no small leaks anywhere in it. Small leaks can turn into big leaks. We also want to make sure we take the time to clear out all the impediments and debris that will accumulate on the front of the radiator. The radiator cap as well, that needs attention. If it's corroded or has any signs of leak or de degradation, please take the time to replace that as well. That can allow air back into the system and that can cause trouble later on. We also want to make sure we refill the coolant in the radiator with a proper mix of antifreeze and water. Too low or too high of a mix can cause temperature issues and run, make your engine run inefficiently. Inspect your hoses for leaks and tears and any oxidation or material that's built up on the outside. You don't want one of these to burst as you're driving down the road. Belts is another issue to look into. Make sure it's not worn, not missing teeth, have abrasions on the side, or is loose in any way. This can cause some imbalance in your system and damage your newly installed water pump. Belts run on tensioners and pulleys. These too need attention, as bearings can wear out and they can lose their spring tension. This too can cause imbalance in your system and damage your newly installed water pump. Check your thermostat and thermostat housing for signs of leak and wear and corrosion. A stuck thermostat can overheat your engine and an open thermostat can make it run inefficiently. In many vehicles, the fan clutch is mounted directly to the water pump. Any imbalance or wear of this unit can damage your newly installed water pump as well. Once you've taken the time and attention to these parts, your water pump installation can go smoothly and you can restore cooling power. For more tips and best practices for your water pump installation, visit Water Pump University at waterpumpu.com and to find all of your quality replacement parts, including U.S. Motor Works Professional Series water pumps and fan clutches, go to summitracing.com. Thank you for watching this video.